Good morning, folks. Starting with an interesting and somewhat unexpected story from earlier this month. Atmospheric mercury apparently is mechanistically forced from the upper layers down to the ecosystem when cracks in the ice cause strong temperature mixing, starting just above the surface. The notion of significant atmospheric mercury is likely novel to many in this community, so I've got a 2008 technical report on the relevant factors, causes, and concerns surrounding atmospheric mercury, linked for you in the About tab below the video. Quick notice for those who like attending or commenting at these open forums. Regulatory law in this country indeed affords citizens the right to comment on public policy decisions and the like, but you have to be paying attention to when your forum is open, and be quick on the draw to get your comments heard or your tickets booked. This is late February. Last news for today is that my talk at the Electric Universe Conference 2014 has been moved to opening night after Dave Talbot and Walt Thornhill. Let's go to the weather, because we have a lot going on. That downpour north of Madagascar is being called biblical, epic, devastating. In the seven hours overnight, they saw half a foot of rain. With the central mountain runoffs on the little island, most areas where people are living near the coast, it's over a foot of water. So New Zealand, apologies for underestimating that cell we showed heading for you yesterday. It was drawing his power from a diabolical Antarctic low whose convergence line stretched all the way up over you and onto Australia. It dropped at least one tornadic-like storm and may linger a bit longer before leaving. Yesterday was a whiteout for a good portion of my day in Columbus, Ohio. The low dipped down and apparently gave me something in common with everyone around me for hundreds of miles. This analysis is pre-sunrise, so we'll get what totals come in today. Pulling out to the wind map level, you can see those lows still stuck in the Pacific. Stuck lows are what could cause an arc storm if they sit right. Now, right now, it's a mild nightmare for Alaskans seeing this south of them, except for the break in the cold for this time of year. But put those lows slightly west and we'd have had devastating rain all up and down the west coast for weeks now, and it wouldn't stop. Google my name and arc storm for more information. What do you think? That low finally dive for Europe? Oh yeah. Didn't know when it would happen, but it did. The North Atlantic low has a thing for British accents, but doesn't know how to enter a party without making a mess. It certainly did that overnight in the UK and is expected to continue tonight. Let's look at the current conditions. So what do we see here? Missing data, missing data, and more missing data. We had a data dropout for multiple hours on both the GOES and ACE, affecting every single data product that relies on either of those satellites. Even the normally reliable GOES SXI solar images, my go-to when the SDO goes down, was skipping hours at a time. Do we worry? Nope. We've got lots of backups. The SDO is the best full disk imager we get and it never went down, not once, and neither did the Gong H Alpha. There were no major eruptions or flares. We can also confirm this on Stereo A, which also stayed up the whole time and gives us a side view of anything trying to head our way. They are all back on now and it's just in time. This sunspot group is doing a rare thing. Too much positive power in a small area not within one umbra. They don't see each other as they backpedal towards collision and they are feeling the itch behind them now with bigger C flare just induced and the M flare chances rising above 70% if those two get any closer. Magnetic connection to our star is not right on that point, but our portal could easily be surged by significant activity as it is close. Let's remain vigilant. No visibility yet on the incoming sunspot groups. Another hour of audio posted to the website yesterday in the fly on the wall section. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.